Hello and welcome to another Inventor Tips and Tricks video. This one is all about display quality. Now, the veterans of Inventor out there will probably know this one, so apologies in advance. This is fairly easy to come across yourself if you do a little bit of digging around. So I might be preaching to people that already know about this, but if you don't, this might be really useful to yourself. Now, before we get started, because it is a video about display quality, the nature of... <laughs> I'm using, obviously, screen capture software. That will have a certain effect on the, 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 what you see. It will be slightly different to what I see. So to help minimize that effect, what I recommend you do is when you're watching this video, click this little cog here, select the quality, and then put it onto max quality, and then hit the maximize full screen. That'll get the best quality that you can possibly get from my video. So you can see as best as you can what I see. Right, okay, display quality. Now, you might have been working on Inventor for a while, and you might be thinking, hey, Looks, this looks fine. This looks absolutely fine to me. Nothing wrong with it. It's 3D, it's got shadows, it's got reflections, it's got colours and that. It's mint. Well, yeah, it is. It is kind of good. But if you have never played with the display quality settings, what you might not have noticed, because you might just not know any different, is look at the edges. Look at the edges on the model. They're jaggedy as hell. This is I'm, what I'm working with right now is the default display quality settings. If I zoom out, and do a little zoom in a little orbit, you can see there's a lot of jaggedness going on in the edges and pretty much every model edge there's a stepped effect and Inventor does that, it, it compromises the quality of the on-screen edges so it speeds it up a little bit, it can rotate, the graphics card has got less to handle it doesn't apply any processing to those edges, it doesn't smooth them out so it makes things a little bit quicker. Now, if you're running a, a pretty good computer, if you're running a decent enough computer, then you might be thinking, well, I want to, I think I can crank it up a little bit. I want to turn it to 12, and I want, I want to see some goodness on screen. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, this only applies in this particular video to the users of a GeForce graphics card. If you're using a Quadro card, your settings might be a little bit different, what you see might be a little bit different, the way Inventor handles those cards is a little bit different. So this is only for users of the GeForce cards. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, whilst I've got the part open, is I'm gonna go to the I menu at the top left, and then I'm gonna go to Options. And then we're gonna go into the Display tab, and just make sure that your display quality is set to smoother. All right. Then we're going to go across to hardware. Now, what you will probably have set is performance. All right. So we use this setting when performance is desired over realistic visualization. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to switch it on to quality. We're going to hit apply. We're going to hit close. And you might have done this in the past and went, it's no different. It's absolutely no different. And you've turned it off. You went back to performance. Well, that setting doesn't take into effect until you shut and vent it down. You give it at least five to ten seconds just to let it flush out of the, the PC's memory, make sure it's completely shut down, go back in, open Inventor again, reopen the part you were working on, and then that quality setting will have kicked in. And I'm hoping that the capture card that I'm using is going to pick it up. Now what I'm seeing on screen right now is miles better. It is miles better. There's absolutely no jagged edges on screen at all. It's performing what's called anti-aliasing on the edges, and it's just completely removed those jagged lines. The model is a load clearer than it was before. And that is just, it, it puts a little bit more of a load on your graphics card, but pff, I've got a pretty decent graphics card. I'm all right. So give it a shot and see how you go. Now, there's another thing you can do, which depending on the card you're using and the driver you're using, might be even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the options and I'm gonna put this back to performance. And then I'm gonna close it down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the NVIDIA control panel. So right click on your desktop and then select NVIDIA control panel. Again, it depends on which card you're using, which driver you're using. You might not get the same set of options as I've got here. I'm using a GTX, GeForce GTX 970 card and the driver that I'm using is 350.12. What I've done is I've went into manage 3D settings up here on the left hand side, go to program settings and then hit add and in your, your previously used programs, you should see Autodesk Inventor. Click Add Selected Program, and it'll put it in here. And what we can do is we can override some of the graphical settings that Inventor needs to use. A lot of these settings, unfortunately, don't actually apply to Inventor because it's it, this is a gaming 
centric graphics driver and a lot of the settings don't actually work with Inventor. It's a much more, if you've got a Quadro card, these settings are a little bit different and they apply more specifically to Inventor. So the only real setting in here which is of any use to us for this video, which works with Inventor, is the FXAA anti-aliasing, which is fast approximate anti-aliasing. So what we're going to do is whilst we're using the performance setting, we're going to change this to on and then we're going to reopen Inventor and we're going to see how that's affected performance mode. Now remember the first set, you can rewind if you want to, remember what it looked like when it was in performance mode. It was very jaggedy, but now what we're going to see is it's not jaggedy anymore, it's actually, it's, it's still pretty smooth. That fast approximate anti-aliasing is overriding the Inventor graphical uh, quality and it's now applying a graphics card based or NVIDIA driven anti-aliasing. And depending on the card you've got, depending on uh, the driver that you are using, the model that you've got on screen, you might actually find that this is better than switching it to quality. You might get a performance boost out of this. I don't know. It depends exactly. It depends on your card and your driver, like I said before. So that's FXAA. Unfortunately, MFAA is actually a better quality of anti-aliasing, but it doesn't have an effect on Inventor. Um, this setting here, anti-aliasing mode, where you can apply uh, multiples, you know, two, four, and eight, etc., uh, different uh, strengths of anti-aliasing, they don't apply, unfortunately. It's just FXAA which does. So that's just made Inventor look a hell of a lot more clearer, a lot smoother, and a lot better quality. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that allows you to just get a little bit extra quality on screen, maybe for renders, maybe for screen prints, you know, just, just for you working on it, you might want it just to look a little bit better. So thanks very much for that, guys. Hopefully that helps somebody. If it did, please press a like on the video, put a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, see ya.